Yes, Seth, no Jordan Brown, no problem. The Cajuns were without the SBC preseason player of the year due to illness, but this was an all around team win and led by a guy that you mentioned earlier this week in Greg Williams Jr. who rallied 21 points, two rebounds and two steals. Now, Troy came into this contest a top ranked defense in the league and how we joke around on Twitter. The Cajuns might have put them on fraud alert. You talk about a 72 point performance, 48 percent from the field and only 11 turnovers, a recipe for their seventh straight victory. Now, although the Cajuns fired on all cylinders early, they didn't exactly play up to their standards in the second half. The Cajuns head coach Bob Marlin says this was a win worth celebrating. Really proud of Kobe Julian stepped up, thought T. Lou had a double double. Greg Williams was dynamite again, and uh, we, we made a statement win tonight. It's important to really have a great start, I think, just uh, in general when it's playing in college or anything in life. Cause, I mean, like, once you, like, just throw the first punch to, like, a team, they'll, like, just start to, like, just lay off and just not play up to, like, their stands. And I think they really did that in the uh, first half. In support of Coaches Against Cancer, the Cajuns shot 46% from the outside, seven triples, so Coach Marlin's pockets are $700 lighter tonight. His, his pledge going towards the American Cancer Society. I asked the guys after the game if they knew that Coach had that pledge going into the game, and they said not exactly, but had they knew, they might have shot the three ball a little more. Live from the Cajun Dome, Megan Glover, KTC Sports.